Today marks day four in the search for a missing college student. Mia Mercano was last seen Friday at Arden Villains Apartments near UCF. A big development in the case yesterday, though, after the man investigators considered a person of interest, was found dead in an apparent suicide. Eze Castro was live along University Boulevard, where the search is resuming today, and volunteers are joining the 19-year-old's family in hopes of finding her, Eze. Yeah, so volunteers and family members are starting to show up here at this Ruby Tuesday on University Boulevard. Again, they want to search. They want to find Mia as quickly as possible. The goal right now is to use these fires to go around different parts of this area, spreading the word to find Mia. I'm going to step outside so you can see some of the groups out here already trying to figure out logistics. Now, Mia Marcano was last seen on Friday at the Arden Villas apartment complex where she lives and works. We know family members have been in town since Saturday morning after they realized she never made her flight to Fort Lauderdale Friday night. And just yesterday, Orange County deputies announced a person of interest in the case, 27-year-old Armando Caballero, who was found dead from an apparent suicide. Investigators say he was a maintenance worker at her apartment complex and he had accessed her unit. Um, I, I was really angry, especially because if he knew anything, he took that information with him. He could have told us something, um, given us a lead or anything. He could have just told us if he knew anything, if he had seen her, left a note. Um, so I think it's it was a cowardly act and it's, it was disgusting. And that was Mia's cousin. Now, yesterday, Sheriff Mina said that they had been looking for Caballero all weekend, adding that he had a warrant for his arrest for burglary since he entered Mia's apartment without permission. Now, back out here live, uh, Mia's cousin says this search should last throughout the day. Again, the goal is to find her and find her safely. Now, anyone who knows anything about Mia, you're urged to call the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Live in Orange County, Ezzie Castro, getting results, News 6.